everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the stocks that were in play today. Okay, first up, let's take a look at WATT. Okay, we have Watt here up 14%. Uh, RSI is at 52 here, so it's in the bull zone. You have Fasto now above 20, a bullish crossover on ADX. So the chart's starting to heat up after after this pullback. As you can see, there was a, a, a little uh, volume spike down here. You know, volume was picking up uh, over the previous uh, several uh, tr trading days. And, and there was a close today above EMA4. That was the first close above this pink line since since uh, uh, there, there was a close below and it turned into resistance. So we're keeping an eye on it here. We're going to see if it can get above EMA 13. That's the next key level to break. That's the orange line here at uh, 1851. If you can get above that level, and then the middle Bollinger Band will be the next target at 2047. It'll need to turn the middle Bollinger Band into support to get a new uptrend going. Now, now a bullish doji star reversal pattern formed a couple of days ago. This is a, a, a strong reversal pattern. As you can see, it formed here uh, on the 18th. That, that pattern was confirmed today. And, and so we're going to see if it can follow Follow through now that, that it had a bullish reversal confirmation. Okay, let's look at DPW. Okay, this is another uh, crypto stock, uh, crypto sector uh, stock that you should keep an eye on. Um, it, it's starting to heat up here. It did close today above EMA4. That that is the pink line currently at 228. So if it can stay above 228 and then break above EMA8 at 237, notice that that it tried to get above that level um, a few a few days ago. Um, and it, it failed to get uh, a couple weeks ago. It failed to get above that level and, and pulled back. And so if you can get a close above EMA 8, that'll be a bullish change in trend. There hasn't been a close above that level since it turned into resistance. You do have the, the middle Bollinger Band and 50-day simple moving average up here at 271 and 281. Those are the two huge levels. When you see a close above both those levels, that should be a very bullish signal that it's finally ready to break out and head higher. Uh, you, there was a bull cross down here on the MACD 8, 13, and 5. Okay, take a look at ITUS. A uh, very sweet breakout today. As you can see here, it broke out above high close horizontal resistance. Um, so so the, uh, we always draw a trend line across a, a, the, the top of the recent high close. And so this closing price on the, the 18th was a key level to break. There was a close above that on the 22nd, and that was signaling more upside potential. And then today there was big follow through. Notice that ever since the candles closed above uh, the, the middle Bollinger Band and EMA4 uh, resistance down here uh, on on this candle, you can see that, that it was the first close above this dotted purple line. The, the, the candle has been riding EMA4 support higher. So as long as that pink line is ho holding, th there was a close below right here, and it got right back above. As long as it's holding, the, the chart's super strong. Now, now, now that there was a close above the upper Bollinger Band, you want to see the candles ride EMA4 or the upper Bollinger Band support level on EMA4, similar to to the the way it was uh, the, the, this trend here between the eight. 8th and the uh, 16th. Um, since it's breaking out, what you want to do is look at the weekly chart to find the next key resistance levels. As you can see back here in uh, 2016, we've got the, uh, what is this, December uh, high close at uh, just above 575. And so that's going to be the next key level to break. It's getting close to that level now. If you can get above that, then you're looking at the October 2016 high close at 675. So above 575, put 675 on deck. This is a weekly uh, chart and the and the weekly candle does not set until the closing bell on Friday. There was a bullish break this week above that 300 week moving average at 428. You want to see that level turn into support if you are a bull. Okay, let's look at LODE. Nice uh, move today. It's up 8%. You have RSI and Fasto both in the bull zone with room to run until overbought levels. Now now check out this very tight channel that had been trading in this whole month of January. Finally, it got above that level yesterday. There was a slight close above high close resistance in the top of that channel yesterday and then today there was a a, a a nice breakout higher so it looks like it wants to push push higher now it's trading above the 50-day simple moving average and the middle bollinger band as long as that 38 support level holds it should signal more upside potential you want to see now that 40 uh, 41 level hold you don't want to see it drop back into this previous channel you want to see the top of the channel turn into support if you're a bull and then our next target's going to be up here at this 100-day simple moving average at 56 okay let's look at IPWR nice move today close up 20 percent it, it rsi now is at 52 and in the bull zone with room to run until that 70 over bot level fast is back above 80 there was a bullish crossover here on 80x so the chart's heating up after this pullback you know the, the candles got below the middle bollinger band the first week of january 
And, and they, they uh, rode EMAs 4 and 8 resistance lower. So there was finally a close above EMAs 4, 8, and 13 and the middle Bollinger Band, that dotted purple line. So the key now is to hold 142. If it can stay above 142, the next level to break is 151. That's that 50-day simple moving average. If it can close above that level tomorrow, then we'll talk about uh, you know possibly coming up and testing this upper Bollinger Band at 179 and that 100-day simple moving average at 195. Notice there was a very big volume spike today. So uh, you know volume many times precedes price. And, and there is uh, bullish crossovers on MACD on both time frames, so the chart's really heating up. Okay, let's look at LTBR. It closed up 46% today, um, it, or this the, actually, um, it, it's up 46% on the week. And so I want to show you this chart because it's a weekly chart. And, and so what's going on here is uh, the closing price today uh, was at 215. Notice a black candle was forming this week. Well, well there was some after-hour news, some good news that had the share price running, and, and, and it closed at 420 after hours so on this weekly chart there's going to be a big white candle and so there will be a gap up open likely on the daily chart which could create uh, you know some risk but 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 this candle should turn into white candle and then the next key level to break is going to be this 200 week moving average at 479 if it goes up and it hits that 479 level and it turns into resistance you could see it pull back it could stall out there now if it gets above 479 then you're talking about the 300 day or 300 week moving average at 640 keep in mind this week's candle will not set till the closing bell on Friday and this week's candle is floating well above the upper Bollinger Band. There is a big gap between high of week last week and low of week this week. If the candles do work back into the band, you want to see that 100 week moving average at 166 turn into support. Okay, check out SPI closed up 16% today. RSI is in the bull zone at 61. You want to see Fasto at 47 get above 50. And so this is ha has a very odd pattern. As you can see, e each time it has this uh, gap up open, the open on each of these black candles is the top of the real candle body and, and so notice the close is below the open but each time the share price closes above the the previous day so this creates a, a black candle the the, the 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 stock is up on the day but it closed below the open okay so each time it has a nice move that the bears drive it down the bears drive it down and, and so the, the interesting thing is it's been holding the 300 week moving average at 107 as long as it stays above 107 it's in play if it drops below 107 that's just going to signal it's not ready to go now now at any point it looks like it could get moving higher there is this big volume you know they could be loading here before a, a run it's all about holding 107 and then breaking out above 120 so keep an eye on SPI let's look at TRX here um, th th this is in the bull zone on RSI at 61 there's room to run you have Fasto now back above 20 and, and so for this setup what we're looking for is a close above the 300 week moving or 300 day simple moving average at 42 425 notice that, that it tried to break above that level in the first and second weeks of, of uh, January, but but failed to close above and the share price consolidated. It came back and it held that middle Bollinger Band currently at 366. As long as the, the, the middle Bollinger Band at 36 cents is holding, the uptrend is in, intact. And now if it can close above 42.5, that's going to be a signal that wants to head higher. If it fails to break that level, it could consolidate. Notice there was a nice volume spike and you have MACD pinched on both time frames. So keep an eye for it uh, pushing higher above resistance. Okay, take a look at HC HV. It closed up 32% today. Now it formed that long upper wick on today's candle. It hit that 200 day simple moving average and pulled back after breaking that 100 day simple moving average. Notice how it busted through that upper Bollinger Band. When you see this pattern form and it pulls back intraday and the candle's well above that upper Bollinger Band, many times the best thing to do is just lock in gains and head to the sidelines. Uh, if it fails to stay above that 200 day simple moving average, many times it signals a temporary top. That's what happened here. If you look down here at accumulation distribution and shaking money flow, you can see there was a big spike down. You know, there was a giant volume spike. The share price was up 32%, but accumulation distribution spiked down and CMF spiked down. That's a signal that they were dumping shares, dilution. It's really hard to get moving higher when there's dilution. Now, if you look at the 15-minute chart, you can see the dilution here. All the magic happened in the first candle of the day. This is a super thinly traded stock, so always be cautious when, when a stock has no volume and then it has a big gap up open. Many times they're going to dump into that rally. And so, <clears throat> as you can see, it sold off the entire way. It broke the middle Bollinger Band signaling more downside risk. Now it's hitting the key level, the 50 
simple moving average at 189. It needs to hold 189. If that breaks, 169 is on deck. It has to get it back above the middle Bollinger Band at 218 to get a new uptrend going. Okay, take a look at RLOG. Keep an eye on this. You know, this is a real uh, piece of junk kind of stock, but but every once in a while it gets a good run going. Uh, notice the middle Bollinger Band broke down here in November. That's the dotted purple line, and this downtrend started. And the candles are riding EMAs 4 and 8 resistance lower the entire time. And today there was a close above EMAs 4 and 8 for the first time above EMA 8 since the since the, the uh, support broke way back here this is the last close above EMA 8 so you have to go way back into November and so th th there was no volume on the move but it is a bullish technical development and look at there was a PSR bull flip today that's the first time the dots have flipped below the candles since way up here <clears throat> and so this is signaling the charts heating up if you can see a break above seven, then, then look for a run up to the middle Bollinger Band at zero nine. Nine cents is the big level to break. If, if our LOG gets above nine, it could get running. So keep an eye on it. All right, thanks for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, come check us out at our chat. Um, you know, the premium chat is where it's at. We have a really good premium channel going. If you'd like to learn how to trade and use the charts and, and uh, catch up on, on everything, come, come check out the chat. Thank you.